Hello my friends and welcome to today's energy flow. We are going to get started right at the back of our mat in a kneeling position. So resting your hips over your heels and just softening your shoulders, letting your palms relax over your knees. And just settling into what is real, as always, what is here for you. And acknowledging that this practice will go however you set an intention for it. So I say energy flow, but how do you want to enter and create this energy? Go ahead and reach your arms overhead and then cactus your arms, your chest shines forward. And I'll reach up towards the sky, this time doming your upper back. And then squeezing your fist, cactus the arms, but your fists are closed. Reach up around the spine, chin towards chest. Exhale, chest shines forward, chin high. And again, reach and dome the upper back. Exhale, pull and open. This time, we're gonna interlace the fingers behind the back, roll the shoulder blades back, chest up, chin up, breathe in. And then exhale, lean your chest over your thighs, palms up towards the sky. Inhale, lift up, look up, let it be fluidly moving. Exhale, melt down. Inhale, lift up. This time, arms reach up towards the sky. Come up onto your knees, engaging your core. Lean slightly back in a mini back bend. And then bow down, child's pose. Chest over your thighs. Pause here for a moment. And then we'll roll forward into our all fours position, taking a few rounds of cat and cow. Belly drops, heart opens. Exhale, press the earth away. Dome your chin in. Inhale, open. Shoulders roll back. Exhale round. Notice how big or small you want to make these cat cows. What feels good. When you're ready, we'll all tuck our toes and meet in a downward facing dog. Pedaling out the legs, getting nice and comfy here. Opening through any sticky areas. Rise up onto the toes, melt the heels back down. Just going through a few rounds of that. Then we're going to come into a plank pose. Breathe in. Feel that solid quality, rocking forward and back on the toes now. Just feeling that rocking motion. Lift up your right leg and point the toes, land the foot down. Lift up the left foot and land. Lift up the right and land. Lift up the left and land. Find a rhythm. And then we'll come back into our downward facing dog. From here, come back into plank. Keep your toes tucked like your hips drop, heart open, hanging cobra. And then we'll dip our hips towards the left. Gaze over your right shoulder and this little side stretch towards center. Bump your hips towards the right. Gaze over your left and center. Come back towards the left, looking over your right shoulder. And then slide your right foot so it's parallel to the short edge of your mat. Reach the right arm back. Press through the right foot. Circle the right arm forward. Maybe touch the top of your mat and reach back. Last time, inhale, reach forward, nice and long. Exhale, reach back. This time we're gonna come forward, point both toes forward. Land your right palm down. We're gonna come into some lizard push-ups. Lift your chest and then elbow squeeze in, melt your heart down. Seeing if you can make these push-ups fluid, come back down. Inhale, roll up, look up. Exhale, melt down. This time we'll step forward into a malasana, heels in, toes out, palms are connected. Your elbows pressing against your knees to lengthen that spine of yours. Pressing through the feet, come into a forward fold. Your feet are about hips distance apart. Just let yourself dangle for a moment in a rag doll, grabbing hold of your opposite elbows. Feel nice and heavy and soft. And then we'll start to create some circles. So lean towards the right and then circle back over towards the left, keeping your arms exactly as they are. Turn off the mind in this motion. We're just flowing and opening up the lateral sides of the body. Move one more time in this direction. And then we'll reverse the direction. Move up from the left side, melt down through the right. In what way would feel good right now? We'll release the arms back down, halfway lift. And then slowly come into a chair pose. Heels melt down, your chest shines up, arms up towards the sky. Rise up 
and then squeeze cactus in the arms, fists are created. Just like before, lift up, exhale, squeeze down, as if you're doing a lat pull down. If you go to the gym, you'll know what that is. If not, just imagine that exercise you see everyone doing. <laughs> lift up, exhale, this time we'll fold down, halfway lift. Plant your palms, high plank. With control, rock forward and back if you feel like it. Melt the hips down, hanging cobra. Gaze towards the right, over your right shoulder, melt the hips towards the left. Come towards center, opposite direction. Hips dip towards the right, gaze over your left shoulder. This time slide the left foot so it's at the edge of your mat, reach the left fingers back, and then circle them back forward, tapping the fingers. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, tip tap, fingers forward. Reach back, let's go one more time. Exhale forward, this time land the palm. We'll go into those lizard push-ups. Heart opens, your hands are inside of your feet and then melt down. Inhale, lift up, exhale, soften down. Making sure you're squeezing your elbows, soften down. Lift up, step into your malasana at the top of your mat, heels in, toes out. Palms connected, nice and solid. Lengthen up and then fold down, feet hips distance apart. Halfway lift, and we'll come straight into that chair pose again. So melt your heels down, arms reach up, press up, lift up. Find that lat pull down again, squeezing the arms and pull. Inhale, fingers extend long, stretch the fingertips and pull. Lift up, lengthen. This time fold, chest towards your thighs. Softening, just for a brief moment, halfway lift. Plant your palms, step back into your plank. We'll find our chaturanga, your elbows hug in, low push up. Two up dog and down dog. Right leg reaches up towards the sky, straight into it. Knee towards nose, tap the right knee down to the center of your mat and then lift back up. Inhale, reach your right leg high towards the sky, three legged dog. Draw the knee in, land the knee down and lift the left leg up. So keep the right toes tucked and bend to the left knee. We'll round the knee in towards our nose, left knee towards your nose. Reach back, exhale round. Inhale, reach back. Listen carefully, lengthen the leg and land, coming into a supported side plank facing the left side. So your left fingers high towards the sky. Your right knee planted. Rise up into a gate pose, left palm reaches towards your left shin, right fingers up and over. Feel this lateral stretch. Come back down. Let's go again. Rise up, left palm comes towards your left thigh, right fingers up and over, and then come back down. This time we're gonna plant through the right palm, lift the right knee, takes lots of core strength, and wrap the right thigh around the left. And then we'll come into a figure four downward facing dog. So the right ankle over the left knee, Shift forward, the knee comes forward, and land the foot in between the palms. We rise the fingertips high towards the sky, high lunge. And then interlace the fingers, roll the shoulder blades back, chest open. Humble warrior, chest down. Inhale, lift up, keep those legs nice and solid. They're supporting the trunk of the tree that you are, melt down. Arms reach up towards the sky, high lunge, preparing to fly. Shift your weight forward, arms reach back, left toes. Lift back, and then guide this left knee in towards your heart. You're welcome to stay here, the left knee hovering, or maybe straighten out the left leg using that quad and hip flexor strength. We'll come into a standing figure four, left ankle over the right knee. Sit nice and low, just like in chair pose, the weight is in your heels. Your palms stay connected. Option to twist left elbow hooks onto the sole of your left foot for some extra spice. Rise back up. Externally rotating the leg, we're gonna find a half moon. So kick the left leg back, the right fingers come down. The whole front of your body is facing the left side. And then nice and lightly land the left toes down, almost like in an extended side angle. The right palm stays planted. Can you extend this right leg out towards the left side of your mat in a fallen star? Lift those hips up and then take a seat. Land the left palm behind you. Sweep the right arm nice and back. So same shape, just opposite direction. And then take a seat again, facing the back of your mat. 
land this right foot next to your hips. Arms reach up towards the sky. Elevating this left thigh and then dropping it down. The left leg is straight. Lift it up. Exhale, melt it down. Lift, grabbing the back of your shin or maybe interlacing your fingers around the top of your foot and flexing your foot towards your face in this hamstring stretch. Lengthening the spine simultaneously. And then gently release your foot, bending into the left knee with or without your palms supporting. Reach the right leg up towards the sky in a standing split at the back of your mat. Breathe in. Bending into the knee. Lightly land the right foot to the left side of your mat. The right palm stays planted, left fingers up towards the sky. So kind of like a baby grasshopper, but different. Awkward position, embrace it. Melt the left palm down. And then slide the right foot to the left side of the left foot in a crossed forward fold. Feel that sensation in your IT band. And then crawl your fingertips towards the right until we turn to face back towards the top of the mat. Halfway lift to high plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, we all in and downward facing dog. Nice. Left toes reach up towards the sky. Knee towards nose, tap the knee down, lift up, three-legged dog, stay with me. Draw the knee in, land the knee down, and then lift the right leg up towards the sky, bending into the knee, round the knee in towards the nose. Right leg kicks back, almost you're pointing your toes towards your skull. Exhale, round. Inhale, kick back, lengthen the leg, turning into your supported side plank towards the right, left fingers up towards the sky, and then lift up, right palm comes to the right shin, and then melt the left palm back down. Nice and fluid, lift up, right palm towards the shin, left fingers high, exhale, come down, pause here, root through the right foot and the left palm, left knee in towards your chest, wrap the left ankle around the right thigh, both palms land towards the ground, crossed, figure four, down dog. Shift your weight forward, knee comes in, and land the foot. Circle the arms high, high lunge. And then we're gonna interlace the fingers, maybe the awkward way, so left thumb over the right, open your heart, shoulders back. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, lift, fluidly opening the heart. Exhale, calm down. Inhale, release the fingertips, high lunge, nice and lengthened. Prepare to fly. Can you create an upside down L with the right thigh to the left? Arms reach back. Guide this right knee in towards your chest, using that strength and trusting it. You can stay with the knee bent or maybe straighten out the leg. Choose your journey. Breathe in. Then re-bend the knee. We're gonna cross the ankle over the left thigh in your crossed figure four. Standing, where is that sweet spot in your left foot? It supports the whole base of your body. You can stay just as you are or twist. Right elbow hooks onto that little space on the sole of your right foot. Feel the twist in your spine. Ooh, come out. Circle the leg back, half moon. We're facing the right side, right fingers up towards the sky. Maybe look up towards that direction with some grace. We are going to bend into the left knee and land the right foot down in a low extended side angle. Coming into your fallen star, so extend this left leg towards the right side of the mat. Take a seat, circle around the other way. Right palm behind your hip, float your hips high, breathe and then take that seat back down, facing the back of your mat, left knee in, lift the right leg, drop it down, lift the straight right leg, exhale, drop. Lift, grabbing hold of the ankle, the shin, or interlacing your fingers around the sole of your foot, and lifting the shin closer towards your face if you can. How straight can you make your spine? And then gently dropping this right leg down, lifting up towards the back of your mat, left leg high, standing split. We're gonna find that funky grasshopper pose variation. So lightly landing the left edge of the foot to the right side of your mat. Left palm stays down, right fingers high in a twist. Breathe in, open, embrace every detail of this posture, what it feels like in your body. 
and then slide the left foot to the right side of the right foot. We'll circle around to the left and then finding your forward fold at the back of your mat. Halfway lift. Crawl your palms forward and take a kneeling position. Same place we started. Full circle moment. Palms on your knees. Just feel the energy in your body. How is your posture? Reach the fingertips up towards the sky. And then left palm comes onto the right knee, right fingers behind you in a twist. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, right palm to the left knee, left fingers behind us, twist towards the left. Come towards center. Twist towards the right, stay here. Or maybe taking a half bind with the right forearm around your lower back. Maybe the right fingertips can wrap around your left hip. Option to lift up and maintain that bind and then come back down unwrap arms high same thing on the other side option for the left arm on the left fingertips to kind of grab a hold of the right hip so maintain this shape you can stay here or use your core lift up and sink back down pausing feeling whatever life feels like in your body right now moving in whatever way feels good neck circles just being intuitive with it there is no right or wrong and we'll circle our arms up towards the sky the palms kiss draw the energy back in towards your chest softening all expectations let's take one final breath exhale let it go thank you my friends for joining me i'm sending you lots of love Hope to flow with you soon. Mwah. Namaste.